Hello. We're going to have a look here at uh, programming of the ID200 uh, swing gate control board. Suitable for uh, both single gates and uh, double gates 12 or 24 volt. It is an update on the um, original version, the CTR50 or the K50 as we knew it more so here in this country. Um, very reliable, very economical board and um, yeah, the, the ID200 is, is proving to be just as, as so. Now you need to use a little bit of imagination here because um, I haven't got it hooked up to gates as such. I, I have got it hooked up to gate motors but you won't see any gates. You will see gate motors moving and you'll just have to use your imagination a little bit. The first thing we're going to do is look at uh, the basic programming principles of the ID200 so you can follow it when I'm pressing buttons. So let's have a look at the board. You can see three buttons on the top left hand corner up there. The up button, the enter button and the down button. And they essentially do exactly that. As we go into either the base menu or the advanced menu, you will scroll up and down by using the up and down button. When you find the selection that you want or the menu you want, you press enter. Then you can scroll up and down to uh, select the item you want and you press enter. Scroll up and down for you find exit, press enter and you'll exit. It's really as simple as that. Just find the menu item you want, press enter. Okay and then you can use the up and down buttons to go up and down through the various um, um, menu options. You can see the two motors wired in those two red plugs there on the bottom right hand corner and we're powered by the uh, transformer up uh, there with the red and the black leads. So let's just have a look here now and what we're going to do is we're going to go in and we're going to have a look at the opening and closing, right? Because I've connected my motors, but I have no idea as to whether or not they're the right way around. So I'm going to use this menu item here, Dead Man's Called. And I'm going to use O1 and C1, O2 and C2. They open gate 1, close gate 1, etc. So just by holding it, I'm now opening gate 1. Now I can see that it's opening, so I'm happy with that. When I change to C1 and press it, it closes. So I know my motor direction is correct on motor 1. Now I'll do the same thing with motor 2 by going to O2 and C2. And I'm just making sure that I've got it correct wired, um, correctly wired up. If I was incorrect, I just power it down, change my wires on whichever motor I need to, reverse them around, and I know that both my motors are heading in the right direction. After that, I'm going to go in and I'm just simply going to program the board and tell it where the gate stops are. So to do that, I'm going to use what I call fast programming using that up button there. So I press the up button, hold it until AU comes up. I've got the gates in the open position and as soon as I press the AU button, uh, what will happen is the board will first try and close to make sure it's up against a closed stop it will then open the gate. So you should see shortly the gate starts to open. There we go. Sorry, the gate starts to close. It's up against the open stop. And it goes all the way until it hits the close stop. It's doing gate number one at the moment. It's also doing gate number two. You can't see it, but it is doing gate number two at the same time. And when it gets to that point there, it's just testing the stop and it will time out. It says OK and just goes back to normal. And that's it. Your programming is done. That's as simple as programming is. Man. Just had the gates in the open position, press AU, it finds the closed stops and everybody's happy. OK, the next thing we're going to do is program a remote control in. So we go into base programming and we're going to look for this one here called LC, Learn Channels. We go to channel one and just press our remote control. It says OK, our remote control is in. End of story, we use EH to exit. EH again to exit, so we're out of the, the system altogether. And we're going to use our remote control and test the system. 
the remote control works OP means that the gates opening and you can see that the gate is opening you can't see it but gate 2 is also opening at the same time it will go all the way when it gets towards the end there it's going to go into a slowdown mode and then it hits the stop all right. and we're going to use the remote control again and we should see CL as it closes CL and the gate starts to close pretty simple that really is as simple as setting this system up basically check your motor directions put your gates in the open position press AU so it can find the closing stops put your remote controls in and you're off and running you've, uh, you've, you've got action, you've got your gates opening and closing heap of other things you can change in the uh, in the menus particularly in the advanced menus you can change all sorts of timers slowdowns how far out it slows down the speed it slow down lots of things you could do so you know you can um, go mad doing it and that, that's fine the other thing I wanted to show you though is if you were using a single gate rather than a double one of the first things you'd do is you'd go into the advanced menu and you would change the setting to a single gate Right. by default the board is set up for double gate so the first thing you would do is you would change the setting and say no I've got a single gate so we're going to do that we're going to hold this enter button down until we get into advanced menu and then we'll cycle through and we're going to find that there it is single gate setting when we press enter it says not we change that to yes and press enter we would change to single and we, we didn't do it because we got a double gate but that's all you would do and you would exit and it's in single mode ready to go and uh, you, you're off and running any other questions just uh, email us at service at automaticsolutions.com.au and uh, we'll be happy to help thanks for watching